yo, how you waves or you ain't got no waves, man? I was like, I don't need to do it. I have waves. So it just kind of like transpired into that. I heard a beat on YouTube and I had a whole lot of fun making it. So I was like, yeah, I just directed it to those people. Now the boy got waves. <laughs> talk when when I started rapping like I went by a whole different rap name so uh, people really know they went I went by name like Raw and T so I when I dropped Waves in the six people started calling me Wavy so I made so I switched my rap name because I was like I want to go with something like that sounded better so I went with Wave Lord and at the time my hair was high so I was making music I was making like waves or whatever in the city and People just would keep coming up to me and it's like, yo, how you wave Lord? You ain't got no waves, man. I was like, I don't need to do I have waves. So it just kind of like transpired into that. I heard a beat on YouTube and I had a whole lot of fun making it. So I was like, yeah, I just directed it to those people. Now the boy got waves. <laughs> I sip and bitch, I'm in my zone. Did a freestyle at the door. The light on already lit. She liked me because I made a song. Yeah, when I came up with the hook, I just was thinking about things I was going through. So people like me because I make, you know, I make bomb ass songs. So girls been hitting me up and they just like, oh yeah, I heard that song. I love it. I like the beat. It's really dope. Uh, yeah, so I guess it's just kind of like what you hear is what you get when it comes down to that. Uh, the um, sipping part, I just was like, I was drinking when I made the track, so I was like really lit. I had a lot of fun making the track, so yeah. <laughs> Fresh from the crib to the tour, Polo is all at our own. Wave Lord got your whole crew mad. Wave Lord don't need a do right. So I feel like that bar has a lot of power to it because. When I started, a lot of people didn't believe in me. A lot of people just like, oh, you're going to be a rapper. And they just like laughed about it. So, I, you know, I always like, yeah, I got bars or whatever. So um, when, when I started rapping, I really started blowing up. People really actually got upset, man. It's, <laughs> it's crazy. So, like, I didn't like take no offense to it. it. It's what comes with the territory. I know the path that I chose. I know what I'm on. So... I, I basically made like a call call to action with it. So I'm like, yeah, I got your whole crew mod. And then I just like, I don't need a do rag. So if you think I need a do rag to be wave lord, you're sadly mistaken. I'm going off just like a fuse. None of my options to lose. I stayed on the path that I choose. I didn't quit. Now I'm on stage getting lit. Yeah. Like me saying like, all right, yeah, I'm going off like a fuse. Like you already know, like bombs go off. They have a fuse, it's lit up. Um, I relate that back to being on stage, getting lit. So you could call that like double entendre. Um, yeah, like when I started, a lot of people wanted me to give up. Like I said, like I, I'm, I'm that type of person. I tell people never to give up on their dreams. If you have something in your mind, you go out there, you pursue that shit. Like don't let nobody tell you any different. So like people was down the boy and now I'm like on stage and they're getting lit to my songs and I'm getting lit to the songs. So. I don't have no bad blood to people that, you know, that have any bad blood to me. Like, I don't have no reason to. Like, we out here just trying to make money, you know? If you want to hate, you want to hate, and that's your business. Tripping like I work alone, I blew up alone. No safety bitch, I'm in my zone. These people be ringing my phone. I pull up and hit, dancing their ass to their home. That no safety, I'm in my zone. I'm not a big football fan, but I know football. And I'm in my zone, like, you know? If you're in your zone, you're playing football, you get talking in your zone, they call that a safety. So, yeah, that's for people who don't know anything about football. There's a little point of view. Um, dripping like I wear cologne, you know, like some people put on way too much cologne and this stuff just starts tripping off them and it's nasty. Uh, yeah, and nowadays it's just like people say that I could be a cold hearted person. I don't quite see it, <laughs> but like, I feel like since I started rapping, my, my heart has turned a bit cold to being in relationships and stuff. So I don't really try to be held up when it comes down to getting into any relationships with any girls. I just 
do what I do and then I go about my way and I just hope that they respect it enough to, for them to go their own way too. Like, I don't try to impede in anybody's life and I don't want nobody to impede in mine. This, at this point in my life right now. Oh, I'm the reason they hate, like Trump in the States. I don't wear hair no debate. I hunt a bitch licking my face. Ain't no complaints. I don't take hoes on a date. Last time I've been on a date, shit, I can't remember. It's been years, man. Like, I, like, I really don't, I don't really be into all of that. Like, I don't want people to be like, oh, well, they tie me to someone else. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm on my own. I'm in my own lane, and I respect people who are also in their own lane. Like, don't try to come to my lane. Like, I'm fine being by myself. I want you to be fine being by yourself, but we can hang. You know what I mean? Like, I'm that type of person. Um, Trump in the States? Do I really have to explain that? Like, I don't think nobody likes Trump. I don't even think Trump likes Trump. So, um, yeah, people, people really like, I feel like there's a whole hate train with everything, so, you know, like, I'm the reason why they're hating on me, you know, I'm the reason why people out there hating, so, yeah, I guess that's kind of self-explanatory. <laughs> Niggas want to copy my style like Mega Man, I've been good, but now I'm a better man, one wrong move, I turn to the shredder man, no v loan, there's V for Vendetta man. Of course, me, I'm that person, I really love video games, I'm deep in video game culture, I'm deep in like the whole video game, anime, all that bullshit, I'm deep in all of that, and like Mega Man, he has this ability where when he beats a boss, he takes their ability and he uses it against the others, and it's kind of like a rock, paper, scissors type of mechanic to it, so like I just relate that to like how I am now like people really be trying to copy my style they see what I'm doing they see that it's working and they they kind of just want to cash in on it they see the blueprint they're just trying to match the blueprint so yeah the V for Vendetta I feel like that's like a pretty dope bar because like nowadays you see everybody rocking like their t-shirts and on the back of it they have the big V and V loan but People tend to forget that Bomber's movie, V for Vendetta, which is a pretty cool movie that I have not even watched yet. But I always thought it was cool, the, the concept with the guy with the mask and everything. Uh, I'm really heavy on action flicks and all of that. So, yeah, Shredder. Well, anybody who's watching Ninja Turtles knows who Shredder is, but... Uh, it's a play on words of just like, a turn into Shredder, man. Like, you, you're gonna be shredded up man <laughs> and that's not an actual mega man villain so but yeah i just threw that in there it's a pretty cool bar <laughs> yo what's up it's your boy wave lord you're now tuning in to clever kiki beats tv you know what it is let's get it